Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 4th module of 18 Math Dip 31 and uh, there are a few topics here. The first is you need to know the reduction formula and then we will be applying the uh, limits and calculating the answer. Then after that you need to know the formula and the application of double and triple integrals. Okay, these are the three topics which we will be discussing in this video. And if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's get started with the first thing which is the reduction formula of uh, sin and cos n. Another one, sin mx and cos nx. In, this, in the first one we have proof also and the second one it's without proof okay so let's get started uh, the first question is that prove that uh, obtain the reduction formula for sine uh, power nx and uh, hence reduce the following equation okay so first we are uh, deriving a formula then we are applying the formula within the limits okay so how to derive the formula is that uh, the first thing which you need to keep in mind is first uh, write the formula sine power nx and n uh, sine power nx can be written as sine power n minus x into sine x right and then by applying the uh, formula for the integration multiplication formula we'll be separating these two terms here using this formula and as you can see that uh, in the terms which are separated if we simplify we will obtain another uh, integral sine power nx here the sine power nx is in the LHS as well as in the RHS so when you take that in the LHS part um, I mean yeah yeah LHS part if you take uh, then you will be uh, taking out the sine power nx uh, common and then you will be remaining with the uh, RHS part here if you shift n minus 1 uh, which is obtained here in the denominator you will be getting this one and this one okay so that's all uh, the sine power nx uh, derivation formula and then two cases arise if uh, n is equal to odd and n is equal to even if n is odd what will be the answer if n is even what will be the answer that are the two things which you need to keep in mind okay so if uh, n is odd at that time it will be see we, first we are writing the general formula i power n is equal to n minus 1 by n into uh, i power n minus 2 okay that's the uh, formula which we have obtained here because n minus 2 is here that is i power n minus 2 this whole thing okay and n minus 1 is from here and uh, this is the thing which we have obtained now uh, what we are uh, going to do is we are considering two cases n is odd and n is even if n is odd that means in this uh, in this place we have to uh, put an odd number right if you put an odd number we will be uh, getting like i5 and the formula is n minus 3 by n minus 2 if you have written n minus 2 that will be in denominator also minus 1 will be in the numerator and uh, into i power n minus 4 okay means if it is n minus 2 minus 2 again it will be written here n minus 4 why because if you have written i uh, n here it will be n minus 2 here if it is n minus 2 it will be n minus 4 and so on so the, that is the case which you have written here and if uh, we take an odd number here it will be 5 minus uh, 2 3 3 minus 2 1 so what is i1 just substitute the value of uh, n as 1 in this equation so what you'll get is sin x integral okay within the limits pi by 2 and uh, 0 so what you'll get as 1 okay so if uh, i1 uh, if n is odd i1 will be 1 and we'll be substituting that in the equation okay so if n is even if you take an even number here we'll get i0 if we substitute i0 sine power 0 is 1 1 dx is nothing but pi by 2 within the limit 0 and pi by 2 so we got the i n value which is uh, the numerators are for odd numbers and the denominators for even numbers into pi by 2 for the last one okay so we'll be using this formula to find out all the answers okay remember i power n formula you have to keep in mind and um, the same thing we are doing for cos 6 as well you can go through it the same thing is here we have done uh, just uh, instead of sin x we have done the cos x okay then we are finding n is equal to odd and n is equal to even we are getting some answers here so uh, at the end you will get the uh, formula in the same way only as the previous one which you got so uh, let's move on to the n uh, n n m uh, n n m formula in n m uh, in n n m formula you will be writing here uh, m minus 1 m minus 3 m minus 5 till uh, what uh, you get 1 after that n minus 1 till n minus 5 like that uh, 2 2 you will be keeping decreasing and in the denominator you have m plus n m plus n minus 2 m plus n minus 4 and so on and at last you will have k here k is dependent on even and odd if m and n are even at that time k will be pi by 2 which means i have to substitute here pi by 2 else if it uh, means one is even one is odd like that in other cases it will be 1 okay so let's see how to apply the both the formulas uh, first one is this one and second is this one so uh, the first one which you are taking is this one cos power 6x so n value is 6 here just write the formula and substitute the values okay so the formula is this one okay n value is 6 just uh, put the value of n here everywhere as 6 and find out the answer multiply by pi by 2 so get the answer as 5 pi by 16 that's all what you have to do remember the formula apply the n value and find out the answer this for just the normal formula what if in uh, case if it is in this way in this way you have to do the substitution part okay like x is equal to a sin theta d is equal to a cos theta uh, means uh, x is equal to a cos theta dx will be a cos theta then substitute the value of dx and x as this and change the limits also so we'll uh, be having the formula in the form of d theta and then apply the formula okay 
Uh, when you apply the formula in power of sines because the formula is defined for powers of sine and cos so you need to get the formula in powers of sine and cos here we have the powers as x so we need to substitute that okay that's why i've written a sine theta after you do that you'll get the answer here after applying the limits so that's your answer and uh, this is the formula for mn type so in mn type you'll have um, first take 3 theta as x and 6 theta as 2x okay 6 theta will be obviously 2x so you'll have dx as uh, 3d theta and uh, doing all the substitution means changing the limits as well you will obtain the standard form which is this one sine cube 3 theta cos 7 3 theta because we need 3 theta in the both um, both the sides okay we, we can't have different values because the formula is defined for sine power nx into cos power mx okay cos power mx so x should be same right so that's why we, have, we need 3 theta here in the both the cases in the question it is given as 3 theta and 6 theta that's invalid okay so that's why we have uh, done these changes and after that uh, we'll be uh, applying the formula for nm which is the formula this one okay just substitute the value of m and n in this uh, formula you'll get the answer based on the m and n's odd or even value will be substituted in k value as well so the final answer which you get is 1 by 15 that's all what you need to know in the reduction formulas and the application of standard limits and the next topic is the double and triple integrals these are the formulas if you observe carefully you have uh, in double t uh, integral uh, two integrals for x and y in triple integral you have x y and z okay now how to do that is as follows first write the x limits then write the y limits and do the um, dy first then uh, dx if you are writing a y at the last the first will be dy then after this is get over you will be uh, integrating with respect to x same thing goes for z also first you will write uh, dz then you will write dy then you will write dx okay so the problem can be of this type the uh, double integral will be of this type first you will write the uh, x limits here so first you will take dx you, uh, that's your wish you can take either dx first or dy but make sure if you are taking dy first write y first here if you are taking dx first write uh, x first here okay and after that uh, when you do the following things i will get the final answer here okay actually one thing i need to correct is uh, that because x is written here right so this is uh, not the y limit this is the x limit okay it is the x limits why because if you take dy here then you will be substituting these two limits in the y terms so you'll be only left with x terms then you can do easily with dx okay that you need to keep in mind and uh, find out the integration that is a simple integration so um, the next question is also same first uh, you need, uh, if it's uh, in this form you can take any uh, value as dx and dy because x is not given here if x was given here first you need to take y okay keep that in mind let's do the normal integration of uh, how you used to do earlier also then uh, apply the limits to get the answer just make sure that what limit you take here that uh, d should be taken here that's only the difference between the normal integral and double and triple integral for triple integral if it's of the form multiplication just separate the x with the x terms y with the y terms z with the z terms you can take any limit for any of the equation okay if it is of the addition form then what you have to do first uh, it is minus a minus uh, minus a to a minus b to b minus c to c so here x y and z are not specified you can take any of the dz dy uh, and dx uh, in uh, any order so let's uh, take an example and understand what's happening here so first uh, let me take dz okay if i take dz and um, integrate this in dz x square is constant y square is constant so only i remain with z square right so first we will do for this then for this then for this the three answers are written here first second and third so for the first one x square uh, into dz if you just do the normal integration x square dz x square will be taken out dz uh, integration will be z and the limits are from minus a to a minus a to a so it will be a minus minus a that will be 2a 2a and x square was taken out to so 2a x square that's what i've written here same thing for this one and this one also you do but here you'll have the z term so it will be z square integration is z cube by 3 so we'll write here z cube by 3 so that's all what you have to do and after you uh, do the first integration will be remaining two terms do the same thing for each term and uh, finally you have to do the term for c also then what answer you get that's your final answer so if you are thorough with the reduction formula and how to apply the limits and uh, how to um means uh, do the double and triple integrals uh, that's enough for the module 4 and the most of the questions are asked from these four topics only okay so that's all for this video and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one